Napoli, Frosinone. Oh, second leg of a parlay, possibly. Uh, Napoli, minus 298. Frosinone, plus 752. Uh, minus one and a half at minus 110. Frosinone, plus one and a half at minus 110. Over three is at minus 122. Draw, plus 453. Frosinone, not to score, is plus 112. Oh, I'm going to go with uh, Nick, because Nick... If ever I've seen a second leg of your parlay, it's got to be Napoli. But you go in minus one and a half. Or should you just not complicate and go for the basically the minus 300? This is the second leg of my parlay flash. Yes, indeed. Uh, listen, can you, tell us how much it, can you tell us how much it pays at the end, please? Yep, absolutely. Um, I like Napoli, it. Napoli, for, for me, is a team that I think, you know, probably shouldn't be sitting in seventh place. Right. They're better than that. I think we all know that uh, their inability to get results in the biggest games this year has been their issue. Against teams like Frosinone, they've been doing what they did last year to win the Scudetto. They only have two losses in uh, 19 matches, so 11 wins, six draws, two losses. In those matches, we're talking about against teams not named Inter, Juve, Roma, Milan, Atalanta, and Lazio. So everybody else, which Frosinone clearly is, you're averaging 2.13 expected goals while allowing 0.79. You got a plus 1.34 expected goal differential per game for Napoli. That's elite. That's up there in the top four of, the, of this league. It's just they haven't been getting the results against quality, and that's why we see them in the table where they are. But against a team like Frosinone, this should be very lopsided as far as um, who's going to come away with the result here. And Napoli still, you know, they still have a chance to uh, to to move up into the Europa. I think the Champions League at this point is a foregone conclusion they are not catching there but maybe they can get into the Europa or the Europa Conference if that's even important to them I guess I'm not 100% sure but still European football so they have room to grow and they got to like I said with um, uh, Lazio against Salonatana this is a game you, you got to get your points from if you're going to be able to do that uh, the away side for Osnone one win in their last 19 matches winless still at home four draws 12 losses against the top eight clubs 0-7 uh, in the in the league play, they have also have a cup loss against Juve, but five goals, four, 20 goals allowed. They just they're just on another level com- compared to these top clubs. So I think it's pretty straightforward. It's a reason the handicap is large. Napoli should win this game. I know they had the home loss against Atalanta, but this is Frosinone, so I'm keeping it simple and just pairing them with Bologna for my parlay. That parlay combined is plus one ten odds. Oh, plus one ten. That's what we needed. Uh, the big one here though is. Are we sticking our hand in the dog's mouth, though, Mina? Because Napoli, you have not been able to trust them near enough 95% of the season so far. Yes, Osserman was out. Yes, Osserman went to uh, AFCON. Yes, they were playing as individuals. But it's Frozenoni. There's all sorts of sackings if Napoli don't win this game. Oh, poor Frozenoni. Um, no, don't poor Frozenoni. We need winners here. <laughs> No, you're right. I mean, we, we've talked about Salernitana as being the worst team in Serie A, but away from home, Frosinone have been absolutely abject. They've collected four points from all their away matches, which just tells you what their performances are like on the road. This is not a team to trust away from home. Um, having said that, I'm not entirely sure if you want to really trust in Napoli's defence too, because they've got quite a few individual mistakes in them. So they're always capable of conceding. Obviously, conceded goals against Monza last week. One was an absolute worldie, but conceded the other inside 10 minutes, which always makes you a little bit scared. Um, the fans have been angry with Napoli, but that performance last week was one to watch. Uh, there were just some really excellent goals. Osserman jumping to 123 centimetres in the air to score what was one of the most oh, yeah. beautiful headers. And then Zielinski, who was finally chosen for a long time, he's been punished because he won't sign a contract extension. So he hasn't been starting the matches. But obviously that goal hopefully will somewhat inspire the coach and the the ownership to actually let him play. Uh, He's fantastic. Politano, fantastic. I I do see this as being Napoli going on a high scoring game. This is the time to start making up some points, time to start really placating a, a very upset fan base. They are playing at home. They want the fan base to be on their side. We're starting to see the best from Osman again, who's just been fantastic recently. 12 goals and 19 appearances. There's Raspadori, there's Kravatskelia, there's Politano, and hopefully Zielinski too. So I'm thinking this could be a 3-0 in all honesty. Um, I don't see Frosinone getting on the score sheet at all because they're just in a really bad place at the moment and they're away from home. So it's about, I mean, over three, under three, it's saying the under three is giving you over because everyone believes that this is going to be an over three game. I do think this is a comprehensive victory mm. from Napoli. 
I tell you what, though, there's a bit of a, uh, a habit going on here, a bit of a consistency in Frosinone, not to score Salernitana, not to score Monza, not in score. You could have like three doubles and a treble because they're all like minus 115, plus 112, minus 110. Uh, the value seems to be on these visitors not scoring against the bigger guns. But Napoli must win this game. They must. And it's listen, no analysis. You just stick it in with Bologna, who need to win as well. And all of a sudden, you've got the right ingredients for a plus 110 parlay. Uh, let's have a little look at the official picks, because you don't need to over-egg this pudding. You really don't. There it is, Napoli, money line, second leg of the parlay. But myself and Mina both endorse Napoli winning and Frosinone not scoring, which is a good. Another one, you might be a little bit greedy and say Napoli win to nil or you give up that minus one and a half star as well. Let's 